How to Become a Safety Officer in the Philippines To become a safety officer in the Philippines, you need to meet certain requirements and follow specific steps. Here's a general overview of the process. 1. Obtain the necessary training. To obtain the necessary training for safety in the Philippines, you can consider the following options. 1. Occupational Safety and Health Center, OSHC. OSHC offers a comprehensive range of safety training programs and certifications. 1. Some of their courses include Basic Occupational Safety and Health, Bosch, Training Course. This is a 40-hour training program that covers the fundamentals of occupational safety and health. It is recommended for safety officers, safety practitioners, and individuals responsible for workplace safety. Construction Occupational Safety and Health Kosh, Training Course This is a 40-hour training program specifically designed for individuals involved in the construction industry. It covers safety considerations in construction sites and helps participants develop the skills necessary to identify and mitigate construction-related hazards. Specialized Safety Training Courses OSHC also provides specialized training programs on topics such as fire safety, hazardous waste management, machine safety, occupational health, and more. 2. Gain relevant work experience. To enhance your knowledge and skills in occupational safety, it's beneficial to acquire work experience in the field. You can seek internships, entry-level positions, or volunteer opportunities in companies or organizations that prioritize safety. Once you have acquired the necessary education, certifications, and experience, start looking for job openings as a safety officer. You can explore opportunities in various industries such as construction, manufacturing, healthcare, and transportation. Update your resume to highlight your relevant qualifications and submit applications to companies or organizations that prioritize safety. 3. Familiarize yourself with local laws and regulations. As a safety officer, you need to have a good understanding of the relevant laws and regulations in the Philippines. Familiarize yourself with the Occupational Safety and Health Standards OSHS, set by Dole and other industry-specific guidelines. 4. Network and join professional organizations. Connecting with other safety professionals through networking events and joining industry associations can provide valuable opportunities for learning, collaboration, and career advancement. Five. Continuous learning and professional development. Occupational safety is an ever-evolving field, so it's crucial to stay updated with new developments, regulations, and best practices. Participate in workshops, seminars, and conferences to expand your knowledge and skills. Remember that specific requirements and processes may vary depending on the employer and industry. It's advisable to research and understand the specific requirements of the organizations you are interested in working for. 
Thanks for watching.